so let's just see how we can pass methods as a prop in react so in react we can pass methods as a prop also and that is a common practice so suppose we have one parent component and one child component now when we need to communicate between the parent and the child in that case we can pass the method as a prop so here we can pass the method as a prop and then we can call that method from inside the child component whenever required so like an example here we have one parent app component which is rendering a child component and in the child component it has a button and we wanted to execute this parent method whenever we click on this child button so for this we have to pass this parent method to the child component as a prop and after that we can call that method whenever we click on this button so let's see how we can do that so first of all in the child component we are gonna pass the method as a prop so the prop name will be parent method and as a value we are gonna pass the parent method and now in the child component we are gonna receive the prop and now whenever we click on this button we're gonna call that parent method so we're gonna access the parent method using props dot parent method so here we have this child button so if we click on this you can see we are successfully calling the parent method so this way we can pass parent method as a prop to the child and also we need to remember that the prop name can be anything so we can assign the prop name as xyz and then whenever we call that we have to use props dot xyz and now if we click on this you can see we are getting the same output and also instead of writing props dot xyz we can directly destructure right here so we can destructure the prop right there and we don't have to use props dot xyz and now if we click on this button so you can see our code is working properly so this is the way we can pass method as a prop from the parent to the child component and this approach maintains one unidirectional data flow from the parent to the child and which ensures that the state and the behavior are managed properly at appropriate component level. In this case, these are managed at the parent component. So that's it for the video. See you in the next one. Take care.